Hi there. Do you want this? A beautiful, peaceful, planet? This? Or this? A world that is unsafe for us all? Well? I'd rather have this. But let go into our studio to discuss how we can make our world a safer place. I hope you enjoyed that short intro. Or, better still, I hope it has given you plenty of, food for thought. In April 2022 much of the world was shocked by the murderous war of Vladimir Putin, against the peaceful nation of Ukraine. Many of us were also shocked by Putin's raising of awareness on his nuclear force. We were just beginning to see the light at the end of the pandemic tunnel and were suddenly confronted with war in Europe. Plus the threat of potential nuclear attacks. At that time I was preparing to go on holiday but with this potential threat in the air I felt very guilty to leave my children and grandchildren back home whilst I was in a place of relative safety. During the course of my holidays this guilt lay heavily on my mind. I also knew that climate change was not just inevitable but already well underway. Yet I had done extremely little to help slow it down to an extent that would make our planet safe for all descendants of my generation, our kids and grandchildren. Altogether, the political state of our world and real threats of war, plus the rapid acceleration of climate change made me suddenly change. Overnight I became an activist, a peaceful activist. The only way to convince governments and industries to change is by showing them that the majority of their tax-paying electorate are joining hands and chanting together, help us change the system. To make a huge difference. But how could I do that? Simple. I would write a book and a website which collects supporters that also want to reboot our system. I wrote a fantasy novel with famous historic characters who joined an old man in a meeting to discuss what is wrong with this world and what might be done to change the system. The book is called, Burn Down the Children's Playground. And the website is www.letsnot.org, that is, Let's Not Burn Down the Children's Playground. The book is available now and the website is up and running you can subscribe to our cause already. But no more than a week after I finished the book, I learnt, for the first time, about the Club of Rome. Fifty years ago they predicted many of today's problems and in 2022 they commissioned a new book called Earth for All. It explains how we can change our system, and what benefits it would bring. You can see links to their websites here and in the credits at the end of this video. This Planet or Destruction video series is a third attempt to gain a wide audience. Hopefully subscribers to my website will help support Earth for All from the bottom up. We hope to get many people who believe in Earth for All's Great Leap concept to attend peaceful events all over the wealthy world. We hope to convince governments, industries and global organizations to make the relevant changes. That's all I have to say now. But in the next episode, number 2, I will explain more about Earth for Life's Great Leap, by talking to Jack, a young man who was brought up in poverty and is struggling to get out of it. The Great Leap can help him and all impoverished people, all over the world. I hope you watch pod episode 2 and subscribe to the cause on letsnot.org.